Okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? You think? Son of a reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Flark, flark, flark. Quill? Quill? Jam boys? <clears throat> you think? Son of a schmack, reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where Dude. am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like Clark, what? Clark, Clark, Clark. <sighs> Quill. Quill. Find us a rope. Yeah. In fact. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Then, like what? Clark, Clark. Clark. <sighs> Quill. Quill. I don't know. My blasts, they... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Hey, just, come on, dude. Just... Leave the guns me, alone! Let me... 
I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA court in the last Some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something. Brute, can you get that cannon out? <laughs> you trying to rip his limbs off, Quill? Drax, pull that thing. Very well. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for Rax. Think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. I, I cannot. Impressive, Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. On that alone, we are agreed. I killed 4,675 Chitauri during the war. You count it. It is an estimate. Okay, well, all I'm saying is that while you were killing grunts, I was seeking down the ones giving the orders. Ever hear of Grullax? No. Really? 
Who is this Grolux? Why does this matter? <laughs> it don't matter much to me, but there's about a million Sivians who owe their lives to this sneaky lady. No one owes me anything. Killing him was too much fun. Send the abomination. It enjoys scrounging through refuse. Flark you! Mora, think you can squeeze it? Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That Oh, Scott. Ah, ah! You okay in the rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in here. Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh man! Another murder tentacle! Whoa! That is not a happy monster! What? Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to you, Rodent. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. I wonder if there's a common Monster Hunter uniform. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people? I feel like I've heard you say that before. Fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is close. It means you went the wrong way. I sure hope that bloodless beast ain't running back to Mars. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just you know, during water and ice. Go off. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? He won't let me take him apart to find out. I'm gonna say crystals. No, no, no. Scratch that. Tiny dimensional risk. Perhaps it's magic. It's not magic! Do we have a frostbite on the 
worried about Quill misfiring his new toy? Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? It is said that Anyone she... Anyone but Drax? Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Oh, it smells like that time grew threw up. I am clutching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste. But the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader. when they see me razoring down from on high? <laughs> or the ones they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in a I bone. know! Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun! <laughs> okay, yes. I get that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But, if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Die, please! Nice one, Peter! Feel him! Sekdorf has a new predator! <laughs> These guys mess with the wrong cadaver! Orange is now! Well, they won't be as fast if you pin him down! Branch out, you! You're up, big up! You really pissed off stuff to keep me! Yes, the assassin is under these beasts! Minza! It'll be a slice! It's toying with us! Trying to wear us down! I ain't getting tricked by no stupid animal! Whip them up, Drax! No mercy! These things 
this can take a lot of punishment. Everything has a weak spot! No! They ain't three dogs! Those are tentacles, not boots! Oh, come to me, beast! <laughs> You are coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to go. Deep freeze. Something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless planet. You have counted them. It was bizarre. Hey, at least I have some to count. Oh, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid claw monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the crap out of one of my valued team members. Because I think we've all earned that chance. I am eager to behold the Monster Queen. Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you group? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like you mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count Contraxia. Contraxia was not a mission. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you. Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin. As a hero. Fourteen times! <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. 
you stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. Time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1 0 0.3 clicks 4.5 0 0.4 clicks 0 0.5 clicks 0 0.6 clicks If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. This is going to be so cool. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. 
I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Hansel stings from catching Mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. Aw, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I want you home right after the movie. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, 
but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The Clark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait. What about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. It ain't neutrino splicing, it's a tracker. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. A tracker? On you so we can steal you back. Great idea, Rocket. Let's do this. It ain't exactly Casino Cosmic going here. Just be glad we didn't cram your in this box. Look, we got coming. That ain't what I uh, meant. You know I don't serious? want to Yes, we're to going worry. to find out, man. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen a monster's tamed, but I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but no, yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Good, Hell Beast. Let them hear your bestial howls. Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. I am Groot. He means you gotta sell the illusion. Exactly. The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold. Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! Pay 
attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competency. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I said, milady. release it. <laughs> we got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of him. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer. What brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Oh, oh it's about flarkin' time. <laughs> what is it? it it has a name, lady. And it talks adorable. <laughs> Quill, make it stop. <laughs> when will it reach its big size? Big size? It is a baby, is it not? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. 
What would you call it? It is a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. <sighs> if I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a woodland creature. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. Big, scary, trigger happy monster. And what would you like for the... Hell Beast? 20,000 units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less. Twenty thousand? Uh, wow, okay. See, I was thinking more like... Twelve? No. Nine, then. Ugh. The creature is worthless to me. <sighs> I would rather buy the Flora Colossus. Told you. What? You want to buy Groot? Is he for sale? No, he ain't. Just think of the money, Rocket. I am Quill. And Groot's not for sale. Ah! 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 What are you doing? <laughs> Plan B, Quill. Guys, less talking, more escaping. Who's the monster now? Dad, what the fuck, Rocket? You heard that, Jackal. She wasn't gonna pay two units for me. So we all get to die because of your bruised ego? Ego nothing. This is about money. Money that we can no longer collect. Whoa, that was lucky. Nothing about this is lucky. We can lucky. bicker later. We need to keep moving. Where are my drones? I want the Guardians incinerated. What is that? She's cheating. Die, Floaty, that fun. It ain't dying, Quill. Try something else. That won't hold us for long. It ain't slowing down. Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. Go. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without them. I am Groot. Yup. We're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way up. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? We don't have time to argue. Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Will's right. Shut your traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. We got company! About time! Compensate our lost rodents! Oh, sure! Just sell me a forever! 
I'm pulling my weight. It is not much weight to pull. Joke all you want, but without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. 